Alrighty guys, so I have received Kelly controller and uh, it literally says 300 amps on a controller and uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so of course I call up my uh, good buddy uh, Tony and uh, <clears throat> you might wonder why did I call him up, right? Well, so he suggested that I change the uh, controller and I will be able to go in into into the controller tweak some settings blah 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 right I totally agree um, and he says you'll see a great improvement probably in operation of the bicycle and also uh, overall improvement and the ease of use I mean it's not Sabaton and you might ask me why I didn't pick Sabaton the uh, 150 amp because it is so popular and so is the 80 but I think 150 is more popular than an 80 but I didn't I didn't pick it because the Salvaton is extremely big or it's bigger than the Kelly Mini uh, Kelly Mini is about 6 inch by 3 inch in depth um, so it's it's small I had it filled in uh, to waterproof it with gel so literally that small little thing it's about a little bit over a pound which is ridiculous that can only tell you um what is it made of you know what i mean how how serious kelly is about their controllers and kelly has been you know around for many many years and uh kelly is very very popular in europe everybody that i know uh, in europe or or on a youtube uh, channels have used at uh, one point in their hobby the uh, Kelly controller and uh, never I never heard any negative uh, feedback about Kelly controllers now of course uh, kellycontrollers.com their website yes that was actually uh, down they might have a you know a port out like we did some thunderstorms and things like that so maybe that's why the website has gone down uh, but uh, so you are you know buying something that is small and heavy and uh got good reputation and it's funny because like i was saying the uh, kelly, kelly controller um the manufacturer says like okay make sure you put a register on the on the uh, b line which is your red positive wire and uh, it's kind of uh, funny how serious they are about it. There's very few people that, you know, put it put it on. Um, there's very few people that put the fuse on. Now these things are usually installed because you are sloppy at your installation, and uh, you will cause a short circuit by, uh, you know, touching the positive and negative, and pretty much blowing out. The the uh, controller which is you know a couple hundred dollar controller um anyhow the um uh, the whole thing the whole thing started with uh the idea of uh, me not being able to use the entire power in my current controller which i believe that's like i said before that's what it is so long story short got the controller besides that it was thick and big as hell right i said let me take a look at the wiring so i did and oh well, let me tell you the wiring is just just another headache um so it's labeled really well there's there's no questions about it kelly has done excellent job uh if i had qs motor that controller would be plug and play and it would be just awesome and i understand why because if qs motor is 800 hours and you spend additional let's say 400 dollars on a on a controller you want this to be plug and play you know uh but in my situation is not plug and play the uh <clears throat> the wires are labeled extremely well with numbers and pins and all the wires are totally fine <clears throat> you just gotta look for it so 
seriously don't have much to look for right so we have uh, what is it four four uh, face wires uh, then you got you got uh, the whole sensors right and then you got the throttle which is three wires and that's it um, if you look the, the Bluetooth uh, adapter goes into the screen plug so you might not even have to look for the wires for the screen I'm thinking that you can just plug in the screen and uh, it will work I'm not sure if I will be able to change any parameters and the settings at a screen when I connect I'm not sure if my screen is going to work or if it's going to be compatible with uh, Kelly um, <clears throat> I really doubt it but I'm going to give it a shot just to see what's going on and like I said you got about four or five wires for for the whole sensor uh, you got the A, B, and C. So, so this positive and negative, right? It comes from uh, the controller. Then you got the A, B, and C, which goes to a, uh, a motor, okay? And then you got the whole sensor, which is small six wires, or five wires, or four or something like that. Uh, I don't remember off the head. Um, <coughs> so it looks intimidating, but really it isn't. You just have to have lots of patience. You can't be sloppy. You got to do a great job soldering, okay? And you can get it done. Uh, just remember about your positive and negative. Don't cross them together. Don't ground them. Don't don't touch them. And uh, just just do like I said. My my wire setup right now is extremely clean, and uh, that's that's what I'm aiming for right now. I think. <coughs> The, uh, the, 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 the wire loops that might be a little bit too big for my application but I can go around it I can uh, come up with an idea and I already have an idea back in my head which is going to be totally fine um, like I said I'm, I'm spoke about this controller um, I'm expecting miracle don't know why but these controllers Kelly controller especially this controller or any other controller and they are being used worldwide on uh, many applications on uh, go karts, uh, electric vehicles, motorcycle, like real, real motorcycles, where the motorcycle was built for an electric vehicle or it was converted from a motorcycle, you know, uh, gas engine to electric. So these these uh, controllers got great power. You don't really have to have. 150 or 200 amps oh my god if you're pushing 200 amps forget about it i mean that's that's uh you know faster probably than a bullet but um i am uh, very excited to see how this bike is going to behave i have to go to my old controller uh unfortunately strip all the wires all the wires so i gotta strip the uh <coughs> the throttle wire throttle wire and uh, the face wire okay that's about eight wires I'm coming for for eight wires solder eight wires heat shrink the wires connect now in this Kelly controller the, there's a power wire besides you know your your red your, your red and black there's also a power wire which is pink and it apparently has to be connected to a 72 volt battery I'm not sure how does it find its ground it probably finds its ground from uh, another another wire that was or has to be wired I have to ask my friend Tony about that um, or or it, it's just we'll, we'll, you know when we go we'll see also you do have a three-speed switch um, the way it's connected is you have first two wires connected that's your uh, first speed and second you have your third wire connected that's your third highest speed 
and uh, that's how it works. And lots of people, they put a switch. I really don't like too many things on my handlebars. Um, it seems like I'm not going to have the screen, so I have to. I would have to use my GPS, my phone, to to uh, track my mileage and also my speed, which is which is completely okay. I really don't like the idea of having a screen regardless because it's just first it tells you how fast you go if you get pulled over by cops. You don't get hassled, and then they're gonna check. If they can't see how fast you're going, they literally cannot prove anything in a court. So how fast? How fast was he going? Well, how fast can the bike go? Well, exactly. So case thrown out, right? But we, we don't want to go there. But also, uh, <clears throat> it, it's just one additional thing you have to worry about whether it's going to fail or work. And somehow, somewhat, my, my, my display was giving me issues and had a little glitch where the screen was getting a little screwed up. So that's saved ADOS. Kelly controllers say that uh, there is there is a, a display compatible with it. Uh, I'll try the display that I have right now with it and uh, see if it's going to work. <clears throat> if it's not going to work, I'm not going to sweat it. I'm just gonna be more happy that I don't have additional shit to maintain. All I have to maintain is literally the battery and the controller, and that's about it. Uh, and I'm going to find out soon enough <clears throat> how hard or how easy it, easy it is to hook this controller up. Again, it looks... Uh, challenging because of so many wires but I know it's not and you know we do like comfortability um, and uh, when we have a challenge in front of us lots of times we don't feel comfortable we're not in a comfortable zone because of a challenge <clears throat> which only gives us the opportunity to kind of like go out of the box and challenge ourselves and see how we do it so if you don't challenge yourself you don't grow um, so I'll, I'll probably do it I can slowly do it I can take out the controller today <clears throat> and I can slowly start soldering the uh, controller uh, wires removing the old one labeling the old controller because it's still good and uh, soldering everything to the new controller and of course, you know, I have to be careful with the positive and negative, make sure that I don't touch them, don't cross them, and I don't blow up the freaking Kelly controller, right? So, that's the goal. Um, I probably, I'll shoot, if, so I did, uh, stay, you know, stay tuned for another episode. I'll uh, shoot a video with the controller in my hand, we'll go over it. Like I said, everything is numbered, every wire is numbered. <clears throat> And uh, after I'm done wiring the whole thing, or maybe after I'm done soldering the whole thing, I'll also video uh, tape that once it's wired and explain, you know, the most important wires. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned, share, subscribe, and uh, be safe. Take care.